Hello everyone, I just, you know, released a video on <clears throat> the chaos dust and the chaos powder and how they are obtained and the main source for the chaos dust that is used to reroll the artifact ascension bonuses, the pink bonuses is obtained from Sand Devil Stage 25 and I'm sure, you know, you have seen a lot of people's take on this uh, so our latest fusion uh, along with a five star soul is able to solo sand devil stage 25 uh, as you know we mostly had you know kurunam or ninja doing stage 24 because of the color thingy because the boss it's extremely hard you have to be the strong affinity and because stage 25 is you know uh, force affinity you need a spirit affinity champion to achieve that you know pe people have been doing stage 25 with drang but of course that's slow because he just puts up the hp burn and activates it and in a recent event in a recent path event uh, we were you know given the option to obtain the five star soul for blizzard so i mean if you are interested in this and if you don't have the five star soul for blizzard uh, there is no hope for this project to go live until you have the five star blizzard soul because normally guys you know you beat the boss with you know hp burn and hp burn activation there is no other viable method other than you know a perfect team of you know nuts and kaimar and whatever it is uh, that is extremely hard to achieve you know your account has to be quite stacked and so the wonderful thing about Blizzard is he just solos, right? He doesn't need any help. He can do it absolutely solo with no help uh, from um, others, right? And if you have been blessed with the extreme luck of getting actually a six star soul for him, and I know this will be extremely rare, right? Probably no one. Uh, you don't even need accuracy for this. Uh, one thing that's important though, your blizzard has to be unbooked in the second skill because there is a nice loop that allows you you know to do everything perfectly and if this skill is even booked once right uh, it messes up the order right and then you get screwed so if you have if you have booked them partially right and you have no books here then the project is still a go right but if you do not if if you have books in this skill even one uh, that is going to be uh, pretty troublesome uh, you will get locked i mean the smite will be applied uh, at the wrong time whatever so i wanna get into more into details so the blessing is the brimstone which will be our main damage because this guy himself doesn't actually have the means to kill the boss right we are going to kill the boss with the means of brimstone blessing right the smite prox so how do we go about it we do have a triple hitter a1 which will increase the chance of uh, applying the smite debuff uh, we do have a nice ability that allows us to you know not do anything offensive against the boss for one turn which allows uh, us to you know loot perfectly and the third ability we will just not use about the masteries guys it, this will depend on your gear level right so war master will help uh, shorten your run duration if you can but of course you need some amount of accuracy right and that is going to be above 500 is nice right 525 ish is good uh, but around 500 will also work but and you know the lower it is the higher your run duration will be because even if the smite chance works your accuracy will not be enough to land uh, the debuff more often than not and you will you know increase your run duration but if the accuracy is not a problem for you this is the proper version if the accuracy is pro a problem uh, i will move myself uh, drop uh, war master and get eagle eye for accuracy if accuracy is a problem and so the first fellow that found this right that came up with this uh, bless him by the way smart fella uh, 
his video is a little bit misleading because the stats that he displayed for his blizzard were pretty low right so i am guessing his blizzard would have a below 90 percent win rate right because you have to be tanky here right so this is mine take a look it's 8 to 2k hp and 4.8 kd fast the speed has to be around 220 and 225 so you can actually tune it uh, so that the smite will always be up after a full cycle right so the, what most people miss about smite is guys and it actually is stated here so this blessing has an internal cooldown of four turns which means if you trigger a smite debuff right on someone then you will not be able to trigger a uh, smite debuff for four more turns right that's what it means and this is pretty important so which means if you hit the guy and apply a smite debuff and then before he goes asleep you hit him four more times you will most likely trigger another smite and you will lock yourself out because when he's awake he refuses to debuff and when he's asleep, uh, when he's susceptible to, to um, susceptible to the debuff, you just won't have it because you will be in on internal cooldown. That's why the cooldown of this matters, right? We waste that last turn with this ability, so we do not uh, apply the brimstone debuff when he is awake, right? That's why it's important, and that's why it goes bad if this is booked, right? you do it at the wrong time and then you try to apply the debuff when he's awake and it goes into cooldown and you know 12 minute run or something like that so you will see that the run will take about 2 minutes 15 seconds 2 minutes 45 seconds in the worst case uh, so this version is very ideal and so this is a three hitter so why don't we have you know warm uh, giants ladies of war master i have paid attention to that myself so the thing is, guys, even though it says here that this does not count as a hit, it does count as a hit for the Sand Devil sleep counter, right? And you wake him up early and stuff goes bad. That's why we go for War Master, even though the champion is a triple hitter on the A1. I mean, I did, you know, uh, question this myself. So these masteries will be fine. Uh, just so you take a look at this you know 24 speed from here so we will go up to approximately 240s low 240s these are going to give us additional healing uh, so i think so we do not book him we go with this masteries uh, if you are familiar with the term ehp which means how much hp would i have had if i had zero defense right and this character has like 425k ehp right so above 400k it starts being safer right and the fellow that came up with this shows a character on like 350s which would die quite often right i mean it would of course also you know vary with your how you classify that right i mean if i'm failing somewhere that i'm going to do thousands and thousands of times and i have a like 15 percent fail rate i i classify that as a lot right but if you take a look you know 85 percent success rate doesn't sound too bad on your call but you know he has to be in region immortal is very nice if you have it but you know region plus immortal and you know above 500 accuracy is not very easy to achieve I just couldn't do it so i did it with you know uh, regen and perception and as you can see i have invested quite a bit and thanks to the dust we are going to get from that place we can reroll the bonus of these guys and on with the show i say let's go so uh, let's add the food here which is pretty lovely right you just you know get uh, some food here okay let's just do these four and the setup is as i told you uh, you just turn off the a3 and nothing else a3 is off and we don't do anything else so let's put the shove on the road and there is of course the option of using an aura here right you bring a you know 
let's say you have a Venus that you want to level, you bring Venus as the aura and you get a 33% you know, HP aura. You could bring a Lord Champfort that is going to be a 50% uh, uh, HP aura, right? But thing is, I do view that kind of stuff as a crutch, right? I mean, will I always be relying on some champion that has a defense or an HP aura at all times, right? And sometimes it will not just take place. So I will try to explain to you how it goes. Uh, outside of his sleep, when he's awake, whatever damage that he does to you, uh, destroys your max HP. And the regen set gives your destroyed HP as non-existent. So if you have like 100k HP and you regen 15k per turn, right? And let's say 20% of is destroyed and you have 80k HP max now, you are going to regenerate 12k HP. So if that stacks up, you will die, right? If the destruction goes too high. But as you can see, the healing that you receive while he's asleep, uh, Undestroys your destroyed HP, restores your HP, and as you can see, mine is very safe now. If you can, you know, uh, keep that around 20 percent ish, right? See, mine is just very safe, right? there's no danger of dying anymore. But when I first did the character, it, he was in danger of dying. But I did get the oils, I ascended my stuff, I did get the dust. I rerolled whatever I had and as you can see it's now very safe and the duration is also pretty solid and guys you might be wondering now so what does happen if I miss a smite right because of my accuracy uh, when he wakes up right well this is the wonderful part nothing nothing happens it just sinks back the next time around and we almost had a record now we will have something like 220 bang kill yourself as you can see it is quite safe but as i said this much is hard to reach so as i said the guy that came up with this i think his name was biohack i mean we have to give credit where it's due uh, kudos to him for thinking of this so his was like on 350k EHP, right? Uh, and mine is on like 425k. And when I first did it, I was on 380k and I did die a few times, right? But, you know, I invested more and more in him. So this chest was not HP percentage. I rolled it into HP percentage as an ascension. Uh, I rerolled all of these guys into defense and HP. I, I rerolled this stuff. These two are still bad. I need more dust to reroll them. But I'm also thinking maybe I don't need to reroll them because it looks very safe now. Uh, so what do I what else do I need to tell you? So if you did the Blizzard Soul Hero Path thingy partially and you got yourself a three or four star soul, it is time to save up, my friend. If you have a four star soul and if you gather 100 big tokens, uh, the eternal once i think right where is it eternal soul essences if you can get 100 together right and you get blizzard here then it's on right but as i said it is gear intensive but of course uh, you know having access to chaos dust is very important and if you let's say you have you know not so good gear and you can achieve like maybe 308k EHP, right? You will be playing with like 90, 95% win rate. 95 might be a little optimistic, but above 90%, I would say. And you could take that, those losses, right? In order to get access to uh, Chaos Dust, because it's extremely important, guys. I mean, take a look, a look at, you know, is that? See, for example, my Sam Wukong has a, you know, crappy boot. I mean, I could reroll this into speed. I could reroll this into attack percentage, right? I mean, it does make a difference. So, or let me show you guys. So I have been playing for about 18 months now, right? And I had, so let's take a look at my speed set speed boots. Oops, sorry, sorry, sorry. There we are. So guys, 
I have been playing for 18 months and up until recently I had one speed set speed boot with speed ascension right that was on my poor Sifi then very recently I had gotten another right so 18 months of playing and I had two speed set speed boots with speed ascension from the speed set and six stars right those go without saying and as you can see now I do have five thanks to the K uh, dust right it's an extremely so guys this means plus 12 speed out of nowhere for these characters right these guys had like flat HP flat defense flat attack whatever it is right and I do now have five uh, well four rather right four four not five four speed set speed boots with speed ascension six stars I mean whatever I was able to accrue in you know 18 months it doubled up thanks to the dust right and I do have a lot more boots so let's take a look at my speed set speed boots and as you can see I have a lot of how many now so how many is this this is 15 16 speed set speed boots right and four of them have speed ascension so i have 12 boots that are you know that can be converted into another uh, speed bonus but keep in mind uh, my chance of getting them uh, is only one in six right because you have one of the bonuses there are seven bonuses possible and it gets rerolled into uh, speed in one in a six chance so i am getting carried away as always sorry for that so blizzard is a very nice champion to solo this place right whatever gear you have so the best thing is guys i would say the speed requirement being modest right because i was doing it with chronom and you need around 285 speed even if you bring an aura that goes down to like 260s it's not very easy to pull off right you need 260 speed you need that a 500 plus accuracy you need the survivability and worst of it the worst of it is chronom is an attack based champion and therefore it is harder to make him tanky uh, compared to making blizzard tanky because his base stats are better so take a look at chronom's base stats 15k hp 1000 defense and take a look at this fella no 33% increased HP, 40% increased defense. This guy is much, much easier to get tanky, right? And the speed requirement is also modest. So I would say that the ones, the ones that you have this five-star soul will be able to make it work somehow. So I have been asked, by the way, as is usual, I'm getting sidetracked. So I have been asked this, I should have been... Uh, you know saying this earlier on i hope you guys watched the video to this point those are curious about that uh, can i climb with blizzard right that question was asked to me i mean i didn't touch sand devil at all i'm like on stage five stage six and can i build this blizzard you know tune his speed as much as i can and can i climb the sand devil up until 25 my uh, honest and sad answer is no right because affinity does the words so the blue level uh, before this one 21 or 22 i think whatever it is is going to be horrible for you uh, because you know he will crit you 30 percent of the time and 30 percent of the remaining 70 percent of time he will strong hit you and the damage will become unbearable because guys what saves us is actually you might have missed this but uh, the game treats the hp destruction as a debuff and it does uh, it is not applied upon wickets right and because the guy has a 35 percent chance of wicketing us uh, we do dodge getting our hp destroyed uh, once every few hits right because uh, as long as it's getting stacked you are gonna die right i mean let's say 30 percent of your hp is destroyed so now you will be regenerating 10 percent per turn instead of 15 percent right because the regen set does not take into account the destroyed hp right so weak kits are very much required for you to survive right i mean if you are you know uh unnecessarily tanky you can i think handle the neutral affinities you know void or your own color right but the strong affinity is a problem so you would have to be really very tanky 
uh, you could try if you have a ninja or a chronom uh, from the recruitment uh, thingy you know you can slap his gear on the chronom to handle the uh, blue levels maybe uh, but it is worth it and we do have free gear swap because Sintranos has been reset and I do suggest that you make the most of it if you have a you know a blizzard you know just climb the older non-blue levels and thing is if you have gear enough that is <coughs> solo to stage 25 you will definitely handle all the blue stages up until the last one right the last one will be the one that's dangerous right that is in question so you could try to you know manual it uh, and you might have to do you might have to change the speed a little bit right for all levels because you know you want the smite to be up because it's not like chronom right chronom goes up puts up the hp burn triggers it you know he handles on its own uh, blizzard is dealing damage in the form of smite so that is very important the smite has to be available by the time he's asleep every single time or the fight will go long right and uh, the hp destruction will stack and you will die that's why i like the giant slayer it adds a little, nice little bit of damage so if you can do the accuracy if you can handle the accuracy i would definitely suggest the uh, war master if you cannot you will have to go for the uh, eagle eye and the round durations will increase and then the chances of you know uh, no wicked streaks will increase right because ours last only about two minutes right uh, there are not two minutes there are like 100 something turns taken by the boss and us total right so there is not too much room for huge unluckiness to happen right because in order to die you need like maybe 10 maybe 15 non wickets in a row right and that is very unlikely to happen in a relatively short fight but if your fight goes on like four minutes maybe it could right uh, so that's why i suggest the war master if you do have any questions please feel free to ask them and uh, that is my take on blizzards and devil solo see you on stream guys bye bye